السلام عليكم المرحلة الثالثة سلسلة محاضرات مادة الأدوية كان تكلمنا بالمحاضرة السابقة على الأنتي كوغلينس and we said the anti coagulants in two types injectable anti coagulants and oral anti coagulants we discussed injectable uh, anti coagulant in the previous lectures and the prototype was the heparin and we discussed everything about heparin uh, chemical structures uh, actions indications side effects pharmacokinetics etc today we will start with the oral anti coagulant oral anti coagulant <coughs> uh, that, uh, those uh, anticoagulant uh, that act through or via the antagonizing the cofactors of vitamin K. As I said in the previous lecture, factor of vitamin K dependent factors, factor 10, factor 2, factor 9, and factor uh, 7. These are vitamin K dependent factors and are responsible for the intrinsic pattern and play a role in the formation of the thrombus. When antagonized, these factors will lead to the prevention of thrombus formation. So the warfarin is an example of the oral anticoagulant and it's considered as one of the coumarin anticoagulants. Initially, the warfarin when discovered is used as rodenticides يعني ضد القوارض لقتل القوارض rodenticide قاتل القوارض warfarin is now widely used clinically as an oral anticoagulant and how the action of warfarin monitors action of the warfarin is monitored by what is called INR INR means international normalization ratio is the standards by which the anticoagulant activity of warfarin therapy is monitored and what is the rate is required? The goal of the warfarin therapy is an INR of two to three for most indications. But on the other hand, INR of 2.5 to 3.5 targeted for some mechanical valves, yani or other indications or other indications. So our goal is two to three INR in most cases, or most indication, and 2.5 to up to 3.5 in mechanical valves and other indication. Warfarin has a narrow therapeutic index. That means when mild increase in the, or small increase in the dose due to the side effects, and when there is small decrease in the dose due to the diminish or uh, decrease the action of warfarin. Mechanism of action. As I said, it's antagonized the vitamin K dependent cofactors, factor 2, factor 7, factor 9, and factor 10. So, the common anticoagulants in their actions to the ability to antagonize the cofactor function of vitamin K, and those factors are 2, 7, 9, and 10. Unlike heparin, the anticoagulant effect of warfarin are not observed immediately after drug administration. So, pink effect may be delayed for 72 to 96 hours, which is the time required to deplete the pool of circulating clotting factor. Why? The question, why the peak effects of warfarin may be delayed for 72 to 96 hours? Your answer is, this is the time required to deplete the pool of circulating clotting factor who or those are factor 2, factor 7, factor 9, and factor 10. These factors need a time about 72 hours at least to deplete from the circulations. And this is uh, explain the duration of the big effect of the warfarin. The big effect. While heparin needs minutes to be start. Needs minutes to be start. The anticoagulant effect of warfarin can be overcome by what? By administration of vitamin K. However, reversal following administration of vitamin K takes approximately 24 hours, which is the time necessary for degradation of already synthesized clotting factor. So, when there is a side effect of warfarin, the vitamin K, when you're giving vitamin K, the vitamin K need at least 24 hours. Why? This is the time which is necessary or required for degradation of already synthesized clotting factor. What about uses of warfarin? Warfarin is used 
first, in the prevention and treatment of deep venous thrombosis and pulmonary embolism, deep venous thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. Second, stroke prevention. Third, stroke prevention in the setting of arterial fibrillation and or prostatic heart valve, protein C and S deficiency, and in cases of antiphospholipicidum. As you know, or you don't know, or in the future we'll know, that the strokes can be caused by atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation is the main cause of, of the strokes. A prostatic valve, atrial fibrillation alone, or with, a, with the prostatic heart valve. Prostatic valve, heart, prostatic heart valve, <coughs> are uh, uh, propagation or uh, increase the probability of, uh, uh, of the thrombosis. So the warfarin is necessary to prevent this thrombosis and to prevent the stroke. Protein C and S deficiency are, uh, are uh, one of the causes or hereditary causes of the causing thrombosis and stroke. Antiphospholipid syndrome is one of the anti uh, or connective tissue disease or uh, autoimmune disease might lead to the stroke. Other use for prevention of venous thromboembolism during orthopedics or gynecological surgery. For the prevention of venous thromboembolism during orthopedic. So the use is first prevention of and treatment of DVT and thromboembolism, second stroke prevention, third prevention of venous thromboembolism during orthopedic or gynecological, gynecological surgery. What about pharmacokinetics? Of warfarin. First, rapidly observe, observe, uh, absorb after oral administrations, and the bioavailability is about 100% with little individual variation, patient variation. Highly bound to the plasma albumin, which prevents its diffusion into the cerebral spinal fluids, urine, and breast milk. However, any drugs that have a greater affinity for the albumin binding site, such as sulfonamide, can displace the anticoagulant and uh, it can displace the warfarin and lead to a transient elevated or enhancement of activity of the warfarin, which might might lead to the uh, uh, side effect and the bleeding tendency. Warfarin also rapidly or readily across or readily crosses the placental barrier. Other pharmacokinetics characteristics of warfarin. The half-life of warfarin is approximately 40 hours, while the for heparin is in minutes. Warfarin is metabolized by CYP450 system to inactive component. And after conjugations with the chloronic acid, the inactive metabolites are executed in the urine and feces. Executed in the urine and feces. Agent that, any agent that affects the metabolism of warfarin may alter its therapeutic effect, and this is uh, which is uh, shown in the uh, this cartoons or this uh, figure. Aspirin lead to inhibition of platelet aggregation and lead to the potentiation of anticoagulation. So when you give aspirin with warfarin, lead to the potentiation of anticoagulation activity. Acute alcohol intoxication, amiodarone, fluconazole, sulfonamide, trimethyprims, these are inhibit the metabolism of warfarin due to the its displacement of the warfarin for its protein site and due to the potentiation of anticoagulation. So the factors or conditions due to the potentiation of anticoagulation of warfarin and increased bleeding tendency is first aspirin, second acute alcohol intoxication, amiodarone, fluconazole, uh, metronidazole, flagy, or sulfamethoxazole. On the other hand, chronic alcohol ingestion, barbiturate, dacloxacinine, rifampicin lead to the to stimulation of metabolism of meta of warfarin, stimulation of metabolism of warfarin, and lead to what to attenuation, attenuation of anticoagulation, lead to the attenuation of anticoagulation. These are the drugs that uh, affecting the anticoagulant effect of warfarin. Side effect, very important things in this lecture is the side effect. 
you are a resident or adapters in the casualty and you receive a patient with a big tendency the most important things in the history have to have inquired about the any drugs ingestion and the most important drugs is the anticoagulant drugs and the most important one of the anticoagulant drugs is the warfarin or oral anticoagulant so the side effects have to have known and have, have to have known how to manage the side effect of one. The first important side effect is the hemorrhage or bleeding. And the agent has a black box warning for bleeding risk. So how to manage patient comes to the causality with history of warfare ingestion and develops a bleeding tendency or hemorrhage. First, if minor bleedings may be treated with, by the withdrawal of the drugs or administration of oral vitamin K. But severe bleeding may require later doses of vitamin K giving intravenous. However, the frozen plasma and the plasma concentrates blood factors may also be used for rapid reversal of warfarin. And we'll show in the cartoon in the next slide, we'll show how, we'll show, we'll, I will show you how to manage or summarize the management of the patient who develops bleeding with due to the warfarin ingestion. This is the cartoon. So clinical events and your action. When the patient comes to you with the bleeding tendency due to warfarin and you measure the NR, and when the NR is above the range, but not more than eight, and no bleeding, so if the NR above the therapeutic range, but less than eight, not more than eight, and no bleeding, the your action is a stop warfarin and restart warfarin when INR in therapeutic range. When the INR more than 8 and no bleeding or minor bleeding, stop warfarin, give vitamin K to them orally, restart warfarin when INR in the therapeutic range. When there is major bleeding, and this is very important things have to consider, have to have admit the patient, stop warfarin, give rothrombin complex constraint or fresh and admin module, fresh frozen plasma. This is due to the rapid correction, rapid correction of the bleeding. And then give vitamin K, 5 mg IV. This is uh, uh, your actions and the warfare reversal. Uh, this is a more important slide. And I will ask you uh, thoroughly in now or in the futures in the next stages. Other side effects, skin lesions and necrosis is a rare complication. Purple toe syndrome. Yani, is a rare, painful, blue tinge, discoloring, and say, no, the zirqat, the asbar qadam of the toe, caused by what mechanism? Cholesterol embolization from blacks, and has also observed with warfarin therapy. So, the purple toe syndrome, mechanism of purple toe syndrome is the uh, cholesterol embolization. Warfarin is teratogenic and should never be used during pregnancy should never be used human. and anybody anybody ask me uh, uh, what will you give to the pregnant patient if anticoagulant therapy is needed you will see heparin or low molecular weight may be administered what about contraindications of anticoagulant therapy in general first uh, most of the contraindications are relative contraindication first behavioral and silky, uh, include inability or, under, or, unwilling, or unwillingness to cooperate, and Adam Arabi, Adam Arabi, the town, or the town, 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 the <coughs> contraindication stroke within three weeks or surgery to the brain or eye any surgery to the recent surgery within three weeks to the eye or to the brain is contraindication for anticoagulation third elementary example active vertical ulcer active inflammatory bowel diseases osophageal viruses uncompensated hepatic cirrhosis all these are GIT contraindication for anticoagulation. These are popular questions I might ask you in the, this year in the exam, in the theory or in the oral or in the futures in the uh, fifth, fourth or sec sixth year. Cardiovascular contraindication, severe uncontrolled hypertension. Renal function, if, if severely impaired renal function is contraindicated. Other relative contraindication pregnancy, in every pregnancy, the fetal warfarin syndrome is a hazardous 
and bleeding may cause fetal death in later pregnancy. Thank you very much.